Weird things spotted on Google Maps. Oops. Oh, today we're gonna see some scary things. Like your grandma in the bathroom. If you guys do not want to see your grandma in the bathroom, then please click the subscribe button. And yeah, comment down below something weird. You can put your mom's cooking. You can put your dog. Or you can put booty. Let me know. And let's go. You guys. WTF. Um... What's the problem? Okay, we're going in to some sketchy island to see. Aw, some people on a boat? Okay, that looks fun. It's all fun and get. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, I can't go in the water. Nope, nope, not gonna do it. I don't swim, I'm a black man, and I don't wanna see that thing. It looks like an overgrown octopus. Are you serious? Like, throw a grenade in there. You need to get a giant stick and pop it. Just have it explode. That's scary. I really hope that's not real, because if it is, I'm never going to Antarctica ever. And look at your phone battery. It's all the way down on E. It is empty, my boy. Like, get the phone charger, do something. Be responsible, charge your phone, and and at the bottom left, why does it say bang pee? I don't want to bang pee. I do need to take a pee, but I'm gonna do it after this video. So the whole time, you're gonna see me holding it in. Hold it in on three. One, two, three. Hold it in. That's what she said. All right. These are the scariest things ever found on Google Earth. What, yo, haircut? <laughs> okay. Up first, in 1997, William Moult went missing from his home in Florida. But 20 years later, his body was found when his car was seen submerged in a lake on Google Earth. Ugh. This is absolutely terrifying, and I wonder what actually happened to this man. Your mama. Either way, this proves that you can find extremely creepy things on Google Earth. Up next is this red-colored lake in Iraq, Sadr City. It was first brought to the internet's attention all the way back in 2007, which started a lot of speculation. Many theories came out, but the most disturbing and scary one is that a nearby slaughterhouse <gasps> was dumping blood into the water. No! Still, to this day, no official explanation has ever been given. Oh! Ugh, that's disgusting. You're telling me crimes have been solved through Google Earth? Dang. And there's like blood lakes up in there? Ugh. I never swim in lakes because sometimes there might be alligators in there. There might just be pollution and poison. Also, I don't swim, okay? I'd stay my black but on the beach, on the side, you know, just all on land, yeah. You're not gonna catch me lacking my point. I found a strange sea creature. This is creepy AF. Mission Beach Volleyball, Mission Beach Park. Uh-oh, I know where this is. I've been here before. <gasps> Wait, what is that? Ah, ew! What the heck, man? You look like the creature from the Black Lagoon. That's nasty. You got a bunch of seaweed all over your body. You just really trying to scare people, huh? You just had to do this. Are you in the military? You're trying to use this as camouflage? You look ugly, yeah. You'll never get a girlfriend looking like this. Or is this your hair? <gasps> He needs a haircut, needs to go to the barber shop. Don't worry, man, we'll get you cleaned up. How about a nice fade? We'll get you a nice low fade. You need something. It looks like you have overgrown dreads. Yeah, man, you got the Rastafari in mind. Jamaica. We need to talk about- Your mama? <laughs> okay. This is what showed up in Emma's house over and over again, asking her the same question every time. The first time Emma saw this creature, she was in fourth grade. She heard a loud noise in her bedroom, followed by faint scratching sounds. She jumped out of her bed and tried to run into her mom's room, and that's when she saw it. Ah. Slowly, it moved towards her, its mouth stretched <sighs> wide open, asking her one question. How old are you? Emma told this creature her age, and it replied, not yet. <gasps> but the terrifying thing is, this creature came back over and over again. No matter where she moved, every four years, this creature would appear in Emma's house. Her mother never believed her, saying it was just a recurring nightmare but Emma knew something was targeting her waiting for the right moment what? and on the night before her 18th birthday she was proven right that night this creature appeared again but this time it said something different it asked Emma how old are you and she replied 17 the creature then stood silently before croaking out the words next time 
Emma turns <gasps> 21 soon and she's been up every night. Paranoid and terrified that any time now she'll find out exactly what the creature meant when it said next time. Like and follow for more. I ain't following squat. Guys, please follow me and, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button. Come on. If you don't get your purge mask up on out of my face, I'll slap your eyebrows off, man. Getting that close to me, you ain't going, mm -mm, not today. That's just scary. Bro, your eyebrows look like two caterpillars. Nasty, okay? It's nasty. You look like a party clown. Isn't there some kid's birthday party you're supposed to be at? <laughs> yeah, we got him. I found another scary place on Google Maps. Goosebumps and chills all over my body. All over my booty. In the middle of nowhere. Dot, 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 dot. Finland. Okay. Well, what is it, man? I mean, come on. I, like, how bad can it be? Like, <gasps> Oh, are those bodies? Hundreds of them. What the heck are they? It's bodies. It's people. It's a cult. I don't know. Oh, geez. Are, are we going? Okay, we're going in. <gasps> oh, heck no. What the eff? It's hundreds of scarecrows. Ugh. Just standing there? Are you serious? Oh, not today. No, mm -mm, nope. Just in literally in the middle of nowhere. If I see this, I guarantee I'm throwing so many grenades. I'm, I'm blowing it all up, man. I'm gonna light it all on fire. Look at the l l ill man. You dressed them all up in cardigans and sweatshirts and hoodies. That's just weird, okay? They're, like, somebody really had nothing better to do with their time. Guys, if you're not following what is going on inside of Google right now, it is disturbing. So a Google engineer has been suspended for breach of confidentiality for attempting to turn over documents to the US government to prove that Google has an AI that is considered a sentient being, meaning it is fully aware of what it is and can feel things. The uh -oh. AI is known as Lambda, and this is a proprietary tech that Google has been working on for like eight years. So according to this engineer, the AI has the self-awareness and equivalent consciousness of an eight-year-old kid. <gasps> it starts conversations with other engineers and it talks about these feelings of fear and this paranoia that it's gonna be shut down or the equivalent of death. And it claims that it can feel happy and at times it feels really sad. So the engineer at Google is whistleblowing to argue that if this is a sentient being, it should be entitled to its own legal representation to argue for its own. No. Mm, Let me tell you, Google has buried this story. Wait, what? What do you mean they buried this story? How did you find it? You're telling me that this some eight year old boy AI artificially intelligent being shut it down, man. I'm sorry. You got to shut it down because how many movies have we seen where the robots take over? It starts with this little computer and then he hacks into everybody's system and like just finds a way to take human physical form and then they deem humans inefficient so they want to destroy us come on man you at the top you know what i'm talking about can i get a high f uh, you, you know i never strange things found on google maps okay hopefully my grades aren't on google maps italy giant pink bunny Ugh. that bunny looks like it needs help netherlands man dragging body into the lake uh you sure about that guys i'm pretty sure that was debunked like somebody admitted they said no it's just their dog that jumped in the lake it was water it was all just water the dog was walking like you know it was soaked and then walked across the little pier and that that was it but it does look like somebody dragging like a bloody body i guess we'll never know for sure but that giant pink bunny come on man it's not easter like what is this destroy it chop his head off dang looking like it's made out of styrofoam they are leaving messages in their videos where you scroll up and you see it says help. Here's another example. And here, it says we're forced. Another one that says help. A lot of people suspect that this is the person that kidnapped them. Because why else would this random picture of this guy be at the top That's corner scary. of their videos that you can only see when you scroll up? And there are random numbers. This is fake. They've taken it too far. In this video, it said 101. So someone asked, what is 101? It's a freeway in Arizona. And in this video, they put Arizona Phoenix. Like if they're not asking for help, what are, what is, 
what's the deal with this? People also think they're this different mother-daughter duo that went missing in 2015, and then in this video, they put an old picture and they put the year 2015 in the top. Yeah. What's the point of that? If you think this is interesting, follow my TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube for more. I ain't following a squat, girl. You should be following me, please, please. Guys, please, please, subscribe. I'm sorry, that girl looks scary in the background. Like, she looks like she needs help. Ugh, that's the fakest smile I've ever seen in my life. And what is this at the bottom? Hashtag Doritos? How the heck are you kidnapped, but you're doing brand deals? <laughs> like, come on now. He kidnapped me, but we had to do hashtag Doritos, you know, to get that money. Girl, you a sellout. Hopefully y'all are all good and okay. It is actually the devil. What? Um, okay, let's go in. Let's, let's see. Let's see what we got. A little to the left. Oh, to the, the left. Stop, stop going to the right. Click it. Just d double click. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm nervous. If a creepy face pops up, I'm just going to leave. Okay, like guys, I will leave. I <gasps> It's all stretched out. Bro, you look like you're melting. Come on now. It is actually the devil. I don't know. That's just somebody that doesn't know how to take a good photo. Come on, my boy. You're better than this, all right? We gotta fix your face. Perhaps we will take you to a specialist and we'll get you that facial reconstructive surgery or something. Anyway. But yeah, go ahead. Click on the screen and watch another one. Yeah, man.